Okay. So we have a Dell and Spron 530. I'm going to say this is about from uh, 2008, 2009, because it came with Windows Vista Basic. And that's probably around the time whenever they were distributing Vista computers. Anyway, this is my girlfriend's computer that I am trying to repair that just will not start. It occurred during a power outage whenever the uh, power company was working on the lines they cut the power off the computer was left on at the time and plugged into a surge protector although I'm not like, sure of the draw rating after that when they tried to use the computer later on it wouldn't turn on see so what I did Jumpstart the computer by using a paper clip. You can do this with the uh, motherboard connector from the power supply. Simply just take a paper clip like this that's been cut in half, place it on the green wire which is power on signal to the power supply from the motherboard and you press the power button and on the black wire which is ground now there's power to the power supply then I take this while there's power and plug it into the motherboard I don't know how good this is for the computer but Jiggle it around, Jake. Wait a second. And this is what it does. Get my camera off. The fans are all revved up like it does when you first hit the computer, but the light's stuck in orange. Yesterday, I was doing this, but then I, later I was messing with it, and I somehow got it to turn blue, and the computer was able to start up. But now, it's back to doing this again. And sometimes, but not always, if you remove the paper clip, it shuts off. See, that time it didn't shut off. So, I don't know what the problem could be. I doubt it's the power supply, but the motherboard... So... That's that. Let's try it again and see if uh, I'm busy. And let's remove the CMOS battery here. Not good to do that. Great. Unplug it. Give it a few minutes.
Now at one point I did I was able to get the power button to work. There. Now look. Now it comes on. However, there is no. That's why. Took my hard drive out. I un unplugged all the peripherals because I figured maybe doing that might make something happen. So let's plug all the peripherals back in real quick. It's not good to do this when it's the computer is running, but that's the only way I can do it right now. SATA. This is not the hard drive that came with the computer. This is my hard drive for my old Dell. And of course, I get messages at the most time I can't do anything. Plug in the CD drive. I do have a Vista basic disc in here. Keyboard working. I mean, this hard drive came with it was from my old Dell. The, her hard drive I gave back to her. Because I can get the data back later. No boot device available. Disket read failure. There is no disket in here. There is an optical drive, an optical disk. Check something here. Doesn't appear to be reading the disc. Let me see something. Remove the paper clip and it still works. So, let's figure something out. Where did I put that paper clip? I might need it again. There we go. Alright, so now the computer is doing this. Enter, retry. The SATA drive is not controlling. 
draw delete. Alright. Something beat. I don't know what it was. All right. This CD drive, there is a disc in here. I unplugged the SATA earlier, it all plugged back in. Your disc drive is like broken. Let's try control out delete again. Boot menu. Gonna try something here. Is he typing it to Windows? So that's at least you know that it's at least working. I'm trying to get the hardware fixed because software don't matter. This isn't even her hard drive. <clears throat> So I will just wonder if anyone knows if the motherboard is screwed up would this still work? I mean would it even come on at all? Because why wouldn't the computer turn on when I press the button then? CD-ROM, utility partition That's okay. Mm. 
<clears throat> this isn't her monitor either. This is a replacement monitor I used for my old Dell desktop. Alright, so it's loading. That works. I'll be back once it's loaded. We got Windows Vista starting up from the CD. So we got this thing going on. So it works. <clears throat> the computer works, but I don't know what the problem with it is. I totally imagine that if the motherboard was dead, this wouldn't even come on at all. And the power supply is giving it power, so that's not the issue. So let's see if I can do something like shut it down from here. I want to see if there's a safe way of shutting down. Oh. Yeah, I just restarted. Alright. So... Shut that off. Now can I turn it back on? Hey, that one turn back on. We're going to do this again. Back to where we were before. See, sometimes taking that out shuts it off. So, anybody can figure out the solution to this or what's the problem, that'd be great. Thank you.